Prime Minister the Honorable Philip J. Pierre has hailed the heroism of St. Lucia nationals who fought in the world wars. Prime Minister Pierre has, however, lamented the lack of public education on the lives of those who served to secure our freedoms. More from Herbert de Mark. Engraved on the war memorial at Derek Walcott Square are the names of St. Lucian soldiers who served during World War I and II. This year, 2021, marks 103 years since the end of World War I on November 11, 1918, and 76 years since the end of World War II on May 8, 1945. St. Lucia annually recognizes the service of these brave soldiers with a wreath laying ceremony, the wearing of poppies, and in past years, a Remembrance Day parade. The Remembrance Day observance held this year on Sunday, November 14 at Government House provided an opportunity for reflection on the sacrifices made by war veterans and the benefits derived in modern day. Officials of the Government of St. Lucia, the Diplomatic Corps, and the family of war veterans paid tribute to the St. Lucian servicemen who fought and lost their lives on the battlefield of the two world wars. Highlighting the indelible contribution of the 359 St. Lucians who served in the British Armed Forces, Prime Minister of St. Lucia Honorable Philip J. Pierre called for greater public education on the work and sacrifice of St. Lucia's war veterans. These brave patriots pay the ultimate price. They sacrificed their lives to defend and protect the lives and freedoms of people who lived at that time and for generations to come. Honorable Philip J. Pierre indicated the sacrifice of these servicemen paved the way for many rights and democracies enjoyed today. Our way of life, which gives us the right of choice, the right to live in peace and harmony, the right to the freedom of expression, and the right to elect a government of the people's choice, the right to enjoy the ownership of property, amongst others, were all preserved. In essence, democracy reigned over tyranny. Resident British High Commissioner to St. Lucia Leslie Saunders recognized two surviving veterans of World War II for their service. Mr. Francis, 84 years old, and Mr. Hain Cyril, who celebrated his 100th birthday on November 12th. Your colleagues have arranged a wonderful certificate for you, Mr. Cyril, from the Royal Commonwealth Ex Services League. It says, Happy 100th birthday on the 12th of November 2021. Awarded to Mr. Haynes Cyril, living in St. Lucia, in recognition of this incredible milestone and the lifetime of memories of your distinguished military service, we wish you many more. Signed by Major General Mitch, Mitch Mitchell, the Deputy Grand President of the Royal Commonwealth Ex Services League. French Ambassador to St. Lucia, His Excellency Jacques-Henri Houles, described their Remembrance Day commemoration as extremely moving. He recalled that French resistance during the Second World War escaped to the Peter regime in St. Lucia and received a warm welcome. This gesture is uh, well, well remembered in France and so I'm very happy to, uh, to be here with my British colleague and to celebrate with you that particular day, which is uh, also in France, a kind of general day for the victims of the main wars of the 20th century. So thank you very much. The first remembrance service was held in 1919, one year following the end of World War I. From the Government Information Service, Humadi Mark reporting.